In a previous video, I showed you why you can't trust executables on the internet, but what about like a Word document? We're going to talk about that. Alright guys, well thanks for checking this video out. Um, so just to set the stage on the left side we have the attacker perspective so this is the bad guy at home this is the hacker right and then on the right side of the screen that's uh, we're, we're looking at the victim we're looking at the actual guy who's gonna fall victim to the attack and on the desktop we have this word document now this is just an example right I'm showing word but we could also have done this in an Excel document um, or, or any office document that enables or allows the ability for us to embed macros. So I've got this Word document here on my desktop and this could have been delivered to me in a, in a number of ways, right? I could have got it through email, uh, I could have pulled it down from a network share, I could have taken it off a, a USB drive that I found in the parking lot, right? Like there's, there's an infinite almost number of ways for, for that document to end up here, but regardless, we're here. So I'm gonna open up this document so we can take a look at what's inside. Okay, so I get a pop-up saying I need to sign in to activate Office, that's fine. Um, I'm not using an activated version, so we've got the banner here. I'm just gonna close that for now. Um, but yeah, so this is, I mean, the the body of this message can say whatever, whatever it is the attacker wants. I've seen oftentimes I'll put an image and the image says, you know, click enable content in order to, to actually see the contents of the document they're gonna come up with some way to try to get you to press this button right here because what happens when you enable content on a document from the internet like that um, it actually allows any macros that are embedded in that document to execute and that's where the attack is the attack is because we're able to embed malicious macros in the document now I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about and why that matters so I'm just gonna go ahead and click enable content and keep an eye here on the on the attack machine and see what happens. It might take a second or so for it to, to actually pop up, but check that out. We got a new connection from the United States, right? And so if, if you watch my previous video on executables, then, then you've seen before this, this tool that I'm using, which allows me to take full control of, of the other system. And I'd be able to do things like monitor it, I can remote into the desktop and, and view what it sees, I can even take control of the desktop. I enable mouse content right now. I can move things around, um, but I can also do some some other scarier things like dumping out any passwords that might be saved, or going through the key logger to see what username and passwords or anything that they type. I can I can get all those logs and, and view all that. If if you're interested in seeing some of those features in in more depth, uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for the other video I made on this. But I just wanted to show you that even if the, the file format isn't .exe, right, even if it's not an executable, there are ways for attackers to, to still leverage other documents that you might come to, to trust in order to, to take over your computer. So this was just a quick demonstration. If you have any questions, throw them at me. I'd love to, to answer anything you might have. And until next time, see ya.